Hello and welcome to another Strange. As I tend to do on this channel, I will be following up the heavily researched hours long video with a very stupid video. Welcome to my stupid video. Are you ready to get stupid? In another of my recent stupid videos, I came across a post, Tumblr fake story about someone saying that they knew someone who would make their instant coffee with monster energy instead of water, and I said, that sounds so bad and kind of like something my girlfriend would have done in university, so I should try it and I should feed it to her. I also, of course, thought back to Tumblr's beautiful vanilla extract cake baby from like a year ago. And there's a couple other posts in that vein that automatically come to my mind. Battery acid spaghetti, the flavor. I knew this was like a whole genre of posts of like people coming up with bad recipes or just like weird creepy liquids and then other Tumblr users peer reviewing them and asserting that they are in fact the worst. So I consulted Tumblr, asked for more of these types of posts, and I've compiled a list of um, just some, some things I'm going to ingest. I've compiled a list of some things I'm going to ingest. Stay tuned to see what I ingest. But first, a word from this video's sponsor, Ritual. I've been taking their Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin, a clinically backed, vegan-friendly, high-quality multivitamin for women ages 18 to 49 to help fill key nutrition gaps in the diet. In a university-led clinical study, they saw increases in vitamin D and omega-3 DHA levels in 12 weeks. Ritual is made traceable, meaning that they share where their key ingredients come from and why they're there so you know what you're putting in your body. Essential for Women 18 Plus is also USP verified. That's a third-party quality certificate which sets one of the highest bars for product transparency. And less than 1% of multivitamins have earned that certification. So if you want to start taking a multivitamin, this is a good one. I take two capsules daily in the morning. They have a mint essence to them, which doesn't do anything, but it's nice. It's refreshing. They're delayed release capsules designed to be gentle to your stomach so you can take them with or without food. Ritual is also subscription based, so you never have to worry about running out or needing to go out to the store. So if you're in the market for a high quality multivitamin such as this, you can head on over to ritual.com slash strangeons or scan the QR code on screen to get 25% off your first order. And now I return you to your regularly scheduled concoctions. First of all, some honorable mentions. Um, a lot of people told me NyQuil chicken or some other variant on cooking chicken and medication. I'm not gonna do that one because it didn't originate on Tumblr, two because it is not safe. I did come across a Powerade chicken that briefly intrigued me until I discovered that this was from a satirical photo shoot. Mixing NyQuil and DayQuil to create quill. Intriguing concept, but maybe a little simple. Crab boiled for two hours in Pepsi Max, served on a baguette. That one was Reddit. The King's Hand? <laughs> The King's Hand, although hilarious, that one's a Twitter creation. There was a recipe for infinite chocolate back in the- No! Horse pussy alcoholic beverage. They are going to drink this after me when I die, the horse pussy. Two parts apple martini flavored crystal light, one part methadone. Didn't someone make wine out of Peeps or something like that? Peeps alcohol? Peeps wine is a real Tumblr post and it is intriguing. I also know that wine making is more complicated than you would think from just reading that post. And I don't feel like sitting and waiting for something to ferment. So back during the 4 Tumblr thing in 2014 where a 4chan person tricked someone to making mustard gas, please don't do that, please. I like your cats, but it's a pretty evil recipe. I will not be making mustard gas. Unicorn meat. Hey, you want some Gatorade rice? <laughs> I made Gatorade rice. What even are you? Everybody's talking about NyQuil chicken and nobody wants to try my Uncle Benadryl's one minute rice. <laughs> Uncle Benadryl's one minute rice, one minute what? Awake, left to live? Someone also suggested uh, gravestone recipes, as in like recipes written on people's gravestones. And I do recall seeing a Tumblr post like that going around at some point, but when I Googled it, I couldn't find the specific Tumblr post and I found that this was actually a pretty common thing. There's lots of gravestone recipes out there. So I could not find that specific post, but it's okay because today we find out which recipe is going on my gravestone. Walks up to the bar, get me a white Gilgamesh and make it warm. It's gonna be a long night. Two thirds beer and one thirds milk from a goat or of its ilk. Goes down harsh, it isn't good. Makes you feel you're made of wood. White Gilgamesh make you sick if just too foul, just too thick. When the milk separates in the beer, stir till buttery. It tastes like a French bread loaf with butter? Do not recommend though. Produces gas. I saw discounted goat milk at the shop and knew it was time. It tastes surprisingly good, mostly like beer with a creamy taste. I also haven't drunk or eaten, so I'm getting tipsy off a of white Gilgamesh at midday. You guys weren't supposed to actually drink this. What do you think a white Gilgamesh is? 
Genuinely don't even know where to start with that one. Two thirds beer and one third milk from a goat or of its ilk. Goes down harsh, it isn't good. Makes you feel you're made of wood. White Gilgamesh, it make you sick. Just too foul, just too thick. <laughs> Beauty. Whoa! I'm super good at beer. So, two thirds beer and one thirds milk. I'm gonna do two ounces of beer and, and one ounce of milk. That, that yeah. That's math, right? Yeah. Honestly, it looks pretty tasty. <laughs> it kind of just tastes like beer. It's tasty. It's not I like bad. it. I like it it's a lot. It's not bad. I would drink this willingly. That's fucked up that it's not bad. It's tasty. She's gonna finish it. Although the recipe did specify to make it hot. To make it warm. Oh. I was like, we must have fucked something up. That can't be it. That can't be the white Gilgamesh. No, it's gotta be hot. Okay, we're gonna fix this. Nine grams of protein. Eleven grams of sugar. I don't know about this one. <laughs> Sounds good. There it is. That's the white Gilgamesh. I mean, yeah, it's not good. But it's also not like... Retching. No. It's not the Monster Energy Coffee by any means. No. Some freak likes this. It's not that powerful of a flavor. Peeling those sour rainbow gummy strips into long thin strings, putting them into cheap energy drink to create something I'm calling battery acid spaghetti. We'll update once I finished it. Don't do this. Don't tell me what to do. Don't do this. I really hope it's not too bad because I actually love both components. It forms a dry skin at the top made of sour pellets. Not a great start. Tastes really good, actually. I also feel like I'm about to explode. Do not do this. Unanimous consensus, do not do this. Other people, hold on, I'm about to do this. Okay, do you wanna try battery acid spaghetti? I do not know a ton about energy drinks, like in general. I, I like a monster every now and then when I know I'm gonna have a late night, but I'm not like an energy drink connoisseur. However, I do know that the recipe for battery acid spaghetti, some people who have made it have used Monster, but the original post specifies cheap energy drink. So I was like, I'm just gonna get whatever the dollar store has, which was this. And since then my energy drink connoisseur has returned home and informed me that this is in fact the worst one. So we're doing great guys. We have to make them into spaghettis. I love prepping dinner for my <laughs> wife. It's not just kind of a noodle soup. Why is it spaghetti? I don't know why it's spaghetti. Originally, I had thought that you were supposed to, after letting it soak, remove the candy again and eat it like spaghetti. Yeah. But I think it is meant to be consumed as more of a, a noodle soup than a spaghetti. I was promised weird bubbles in my battery acid spaghetti, and I am receiving, I think. When is the battery acid spaghetti done? Nobody specifies how long you're supposed to let it steep for. But I might try and get in there and like poke it a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's sizzling and I stir it. Oh my god, what is it making? Okay, now that I'm thoroughly convinced that this is absolutely not for human consumption. It just tastes like sweeter energy drink. For you. I mean, it makes the candy worse. It's a weirder texture. The bubbling and the texture situation is a little scary. I say we let this, we, leave, we don't throw this away yet. We okay. leave, leave it off to the side and see if it gets Big scarier. Chef. Okay, thank you, chef. Glad you concur. I've mixed Cranberry Mike's Harder and Cucumber Lime Gatorade into a drink I like to call the flavor. Because like, you drink this shit and your tongue is like, there's a taste here. You are experiencing a flavor. But then you go to open the door and there's no flavor there. It comes back with an undefined error in the flavor column. It's the missing no of flavors. It's so absolutely and definitely tastes like something and that thing is nothing. I'm gonna make this BRB. Okay, so I found a gas station that had the stuff so I made it. Diagnosis, it tastes? Cucumber lime Gatorade and Mike's Harder Cranberry. You may correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that neither of these products are available in Canada. But how else 
am I to taste the flavor? Casper, how are we to taste, how are we to taste the flavor, Casper? How? <laughs> Headbutts me. Hello? Yes. You're just, put your butthole away. Put your butthole away, son. Put that butthole away. What? Yeah. Hello. Hello. I think Canadians deserve to taste the flavor. So I'm going to try and attempt, I think, to do Mike's hard black cherry. And maybe just like a, I think there's like a lemon lime Gatorade. I'm going to use those. And hopefully that is, it creates a flavor the description of which I think matches the flavor described. I think we deserve to be able to try the flavor. And, you know, someone should workshop this, so it may as well be me. The flavor, unfortunately, cannot be accessed from Canada. What? The flavor. <laughs> what are you talking about? The flavor. I was gonna get black cherry, and yesterday it said black cherry was in stock at the Dufferin Mall LCBO, but they didn't have it today. So, I found two flavors, which both sounded equally repulsive, and so I bought both. We have Mike's Hard orange and cream, Ew. Mike's Hard Blue Freeze, and Lemon Lime Gatorade. The reason why it's called the flavor is because it, you're spo it's supposed to be like the most nonsense flavor you've ever tasted. Okay. Like it's incomparable to anything. It just like tastes like TV static. You gotta take off the pee. <laughs> Did you say pee? <laughs> I mean, it's certainly a color. It's sweet and it's like candy or freezy adjacent. But if you were to ask me what is the fruit, I would not be certain. But also, what is blue freeze? I think it just tastes like blue freeze. I don't think it's the flavor, so I'm disappointed. Orange and cream. Smells like orange, or orange candy. I swear to God, if I get it's tipsy. It's not the flavor. It's not the flavor. It's clearly orange. Yeah. We failed to create the Canadian flavor. Well, our battery acid spaghetti is looking increasingly bad, so that's good. Hey, I wonder what happens if I put powdered milk into carbonated water? My cereal is loud, and it is demanding to know why I would sin against both nature and God so thoughtlessly. How does it taste? Bad. The fizz comes from carbonic acid in the water splitting up into CO2 and H2O over time. And carbonic acid is, as an acid, sour. By adding milk to sour water, you've created a very convincing emulation of spoiled milk, so I'll believe in a heartbeat that the taste is not great. I've mastered the potion, instant spoiled milk, therefore earning the rank of shittiest alchemist currently alive. This one is called instant spoiled milk. Oh no. And it's powdered milk and carbonated water. Oh. Freak. Let's make extra, because okay. I might want to try it with cereal later. That was, that's what the person who wrote the post did. <laughs> These are my people. These are- I finally found! She finally found the Tumblr niche that appeals to her, <laughs> and it's people who make freak liquids. It's supposed to simulate the taste of spoiled milk. I know you think you're gonna like it, but I don't think you're gonna like it. It's not great. Very bad. Very, very bad. Do not recommend. I'm disappointed. Yeah, don't eat that with cereal. No. Well, this could be good. Well, it's called instant spoiled milk. An ice-cold beer topped with a scoop of vanilla ice cream lying on top of the ice cream foam is a salted peanut. This is the angel. Around him are sprinkles, his tears. This is the angel's lament. My new cocktail. Sure, why not? Angels lament. I'm just doing side quests today. I think the glass was too wide, really, but it lends an isolated quality to the scene. <laughs> you are so right. <gasps> Grunky. Ooh, it's Grunks. He's Ooh. Grunks. He's Dinks. This is called the Angels Lament. Yeah. We once again need the Guinness. Yep. Before you make yourself more white Gilgamesh. <laughs> this will be good. Says the white Gilgamesh enjoyer. Okay, so I need to add the peanut. <laughs> I need Casper no sprinkles for you. I would say that our Angels Lament looks pretty good. It looks like the picture. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Tumblr. Bunch of over-exaggerators. Bunch of over-exaggerators. Us. We're real bartenders. Did you eat the peanut? No, I didn't eat the peanut. I don't know where it the went. The peanut's in there. Oh, there, oh, it, there is. it is. Do you want the peanut? No, you can have the peanut. 
You're enjoying yourself so much, but you have to report back in great detail on what the peanut is like. Thank you. Casey. Thank you, Angel's Lament. I had a dream last night that I was at a coffee shop and there was a drink called Fist Bumping Lesbians. It was a seven shot caramel latte. I start work super early tomorrow, so guess who's gonna make herself a Fist Bumping Lesbians at the start of her shift? Behold the Fist Bumping Lesbians. Just so you know, this thing could wake the dead. Four hours later, I'm freaking zazzed, you guys. Me right now. This is not usually what is meant by follow your dreams. It's free delivery with Uber Eats and my second year physics roommate slash cousin ordered a fist bumping lesbians to help him study for midterms. I'll update y'all when he gets cardiac arrest. Good luck to him. He says he tastes colors, dear God. A little cutie bun, guarding the coffee beans. Seven shots of espresso. Okay. So I imagine what was used in the original fist bumping lesbians was like, oh, the steam. Um, <laughs> it was like a, a Starbucks caramel syrup kind of thing, but, um, you know what? We're gonna be fancy because why am I gonna buy? I'm not gonna buy a whole thing of caramel syrup that I'm never gonna use again. So, I made some caramel. I don't even think this is big enough to contain the fist bumping lesbians. No. <laughs> we need to add milk now. Oh really? Yeah, because it's a latte. Oh my god, that is coffee. <laughs> it's good. I actually I. Yeah. It's good. Like, it's coffee. She will drink an iced Americano with nothing added to it, which I think is repulsive. And that's like where I draw the line. Coffee enjoyment wise. I think this is good. It's very espresso forward. I don't... But the milk and the caramel balance it out nicely. Hello. 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 I know mommy's doing weird stuff again. <laughs> what do you think about the white Gilgamesh? Do you find it vaguely intriguing? <laughs> this is why you are truly the best person to have made this video with. <laughs> Anyone else would be like, ew, white Gilgamesh? That sounds disgusting. And you're still fucking drinking. I didn't do- I didn't do this. She made another one. <laughs> I don't- I wasn't being fake. Stay tuned this time on Strange <laughs> for if her stomach hurts later. I try not to judge people on their drink orders, but a guy just paid 6 euros 85 for the most disgusting beverage I have ever been forced to make. Felt like I'd been complicit in a crime. What was it? Matcha powder mixed with decaf coffee, vanilla paste, black pepper, turmeric, and sugar syrup. It was a revolting shade of puke green and smelled like a foot. I sent this to my significant other and they insisted on making it. How was it? I refused to touch it with a 10 foot pole because I was scared. But significant other said it was horrendous, so many layers of awful, and the worst part is you can't get the flavor out of your mouth. Yeah, that checks out. Unfortunately, I have to inform you that this guy is now a regular and forces me to recreate this beverage for him at least once a week. He calls it the concoction. Potion of extended bad taste created. Oh, woo, 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 woo. I mixed up the turmeric and the black pepper and the vanilla in here, and then that was poured into the espresso shot. How much sugar syrup to put in? I don't know, maybe like half an ounce? Depends how sweet you want it. Coffee, vanilla, black pepper, turmeric, sugar syrup. We just need the matcha now. All of the ingredients for this video were not particularly expensive and I wasn't mad about it, except for this. Cause I had to go to the, our neighborhood's annoying, bougie, everything organic grocery store to find this. So naturally it was like $18 for this tiny packet. Oh, I got it almost perfect. Also just assuming an ounce of matcha. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Cause I assume there would be a little bit more hot water added to it. Okay. I think it kind of tastes like dirt. I mean, it's like not good, but it's not bad. It's not like puke worthy. I can All of you are lying on Tumblr.com. I can see ordering this. People make matcha lattes. People make turmeric lattes. People make coffee lattes. So it's kind of just a combination of all of those things with like yeah. a little extra spice from the black pepper. I like it. It's That's good. It tastes like dirt. Um, I don't want to say it tastes like dirt. I think it tastes like dirt. It tastes like earth. It tastes like the feeling of like just squishing mud between your hands. And it, it, I'm honestly not that mad at it. It's kind of weird, but it's in the category of some freak likes this. It tastes like a drink, not like an abomination eldritch horror. No. Our battery acid spaghetti is looking thicker. I'm gonna give it another, t oh, there was like a membrane on top and once I swirled it and I broke it, I, the smell started hitting me, oh my God. No. Can I try? Mm, no, you don't want that. Okay, I finally get it. 
I finally get it. That's like the worst mouthfeel in the world. D dislike. In the words of many others, don't do this. And it just does like the worst thing in the world to the texture of the candy. The texture of the candy is the, the part of this that is not what you want at all. And guess who forgot to outro the cooking video again? It's me. In conclusion, all lesbian bars are now required to serve the white Gilgamesh, although I will say making it cold is a huge improvement. Battery acid spaghetti? Don't do this. Hot tip if you do decide to, you gotta leave it out for like 20 to 30 minutes at least before you will truly realize why you're not supposed to do it. And you know, if anyone wants to experiment for leaving it out with even longer, just make sure you um, let me know because I'd be intrigued to see what happens. The flavor. Yeah, I didn't get to taste the flavor, upset. Instant spoiled milk? Yeah, it wasn't good. Angel's Lament, also known as the dessert white Gilgamesh. Fist bumping lesbians? Tastes pretty good, but it's way too much coffee for one human being to consume. Kristen and I did drink it, we did finish it, but it took two of us and like two days to get through it. Potion of extended bad taste? It doesn't taste that crazy, it's just kind of dirty and probably a waste of all of the ingredients in it because all of these things taste better separately. I don't think you need to put them together. Thank you friends for enjoying these beverages with me and I will see you in another video very soon.